Okay, first things first, before I get into the boring, trivial crap, what the hell is that on my finger? But, oh. At first I thought it was blood, because, hang on, look, it's all like, ew. But I think it's actually some masala left over from um, when I was cooking. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, before I get to anything, this coffee, okay. Um, I, like all, all true pros, uh, keep my coffee in jam jars. Uh, so I have this uh, jar of coffee and then on the front um, I have like elastic band to the container so I know what it is. And this is Blue Mountain Jamaican. Now, if I can put this down. Um, this jar, that much coffee, that is 125 grams of coffee, about four and a half ounces. Um, I went up to town to buy some because I, I bought a load of um, elephant something. Guatemalan elephant is my, my regular brew uh, and I found this. Because I normally go up, I get a big bag of the nice one and then I get a couple of little ones to try. And it cost me normally about you know six, seven, eight quid. Um, and I went up to the counter and the guy who rang it up and was like, 24 pounds please. And I was like, what? And this... This is 15 pounds, about $25 worth of coffee. And he asked me like, hey, do you, uh, are you sure you want this? I mean, I probably should have mentioned it's so expensive. And I was like, for that price, I think I have to. So I've not actually tried any yet and I will be properly trying it where I'll actually like brew a load of different things when I get an AeroPress, which is a fancy, fancy thing, which I won't bore you with. Um, but I have a cup of it here and it smells, it smells pretty good. Um, because I've French pressed this, so I'm not going to get the most flavours out of it, but it has a sort of... The beans smell quite aniseedy, um, and... Um, it just... I don't know. It's really weird. There is a specific smell, but because I don't taste things, I don't have a good enough, like, language. So all I can say is it smells very faintly. Like a very delicious, um, sandwich. Like a very nice salad sandwich. Um, anyway... Well, that's two and a half minutes uh, on coffee. I should probably hurry this along. A uh, weekly new, because I didn't do a video blog last week because I was busy. You know, I've got a life these days. I'm, I'm well a social person. You know, I'm off with my countless women and my fast cars and, and yeah. I actually do have a social life now, which is weird. Um, also, I should probably mention, um, oh, I'll get to that at the end if I remember. If I don't, okay, I'll get it out of the way now, otherwise I'll forget. Um, I, my plan was get loads of savings and then work for Nukezilla full time because Nukezilla budget is my budget. I can then basically I'll be going through my savings, but I would technically be employed, being self-employed, um, for like a year that is still on the cards. However, I got a pay rise this week. Um, so which makes it very hard for me to not carry on working my regular job, which I really, really like. I actually enjoy working from home building websites for people um, and I got a fairly significant pay rise so I'm just gonna carry on doing that so Nukes of the Prime is still gonna be quite delayed um, but it means that like the pressure I have no pressure to make money out of Nukesilla which means I can just make it awesome um, and Nukes of the Prime is still being developed don't lose faith yet um, top secret project from months ago is pff, God knows what happened with that um, but okay and something I will get to now is the weekly nuke. This was originally going to be a Nukezilla Prime thing, and then Pete, um, like, we had a discussion, now Pete puts up this thing on Saturday, and it's really fucking cool. Each week, the site has a theme, um, and the first time it was the good old days, last week it was the future, and I think this one is games you've never heard of, or like, really obscure things. And I mean, I put up my article, um, but it's so niche you've probably never read it. Um, so I like to think of this one as like the hipster edition. Uh, but it's really fucking cool because the site, like site-wide, has this cool theme. And so you'll find, even if they don't directly mention it, everything subtly references it. Like uh, the NZ cast will may have features inspired by the Weekly Nuke. Um, forum threads start up to do with the Weekly Nuke. And there's always one main one which I would highly encourage you to go and have a read because they're really, really cool and join in with. Um, and then there's all these editorials which sort of come about and it's really cool to sort of have a basis for 
inspiration. And so that's why we have these weekly nukes. And um, they're going to carry on and onwards. And I think it's just really quite exciting, especially when Nukezilla Prime blogs happen, because then we can be like, hey, your topic is coffee. Ooh, quite a nutty aroma. Uh, oh, potato? Seriously, I'm smelling potato in this now. Oh, that's delicious coffee. Um, so I just got distracted because it's got all this really nice oil on the top. Anyway, um, so the weekly nuke is happening and it's, it's a really quite exciting thing. And it's weird. I went through a grumpy patch with the site and now I'm quite happy with it. Our traffic is at record low, but we're doing... It's, it's a cool website and it's weird. I've stopped... Re I don't read... Um, other gaming websites, I have, I just sort of read uh, things like uh, Kill Screen. Woo, Kill Screen, uh, which uh, is a quite expensive magazine, but it's just really, really nice games writing. And so, you know, I think that's more what Nukezilla is about. Like, I don't want to do the news cycle thing. I don't want to get free games. It's fucking bullshit. On that topic, did you see our competition? Uh, we got. Maybe I'll bitch about this on the NZ cast so it makes you listen. Oh, fuck it. I'm not interested in any of that. Basically, we got given 500 beta codes for an MMO, which I didn't think much of. Though I have yet to play it, I'm purely judging it based on the fact that I don't really like free-to-play MMOs. However, we got 500 beta codes, um, and it's taken me weeks to work out how the fuck do I give these away, because there's no way I'm, like, hand-emailing them. Um, so if you check out, go to nukezilla.com and you can get one of these beta codes, and they're given out based on IP address. So, it's, which is quite nice, because you can go check the webpage, and then as long as you log on with the same computer, you can redeem your code or whatever. It's very clever and very easy and very nice. Um, definitely still potato. Maybe some celery. Definitely lots of coffee, though. I want to stress that. Lots of, seven minutes? Jesus, this coffee is good. Um, so, the only other thing to mention is that we got into packs. Hey! We were originally turned down. Boo! Um, even though we've been every single year previously, um, for the last, like, five, four packs as we've gone as media, um, we have two members of staff who have or have been asked to appear on panels, um, and Hans was a retronaut, uh, no, not, what are they called? The, the people who game at PAX and then they all get knocked out in 09, but the PAX people were all like, me, 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 we need real press, me, me, me. They weren't actually like that at all, they were very lovely. Um, but Han sent them a message basically pointing out that we clearly should get press passes and then we got them, yay! So thank you very much PAX people. Um, I really shouldn't be telling you all this in this video blog, but really there's only, basically only cool people watch this video blog, which is really fucking, it's like the NZ cast. It is, there is no reason other than personal satisfaction to do any of these things. Like the NZ cast, if the NZ cast gets more popular, I just pay more money. Um, and I guess when Nukezilla Prime launches, we want the NZ cast to be popular because then you're buying into the Nukezilla brand and this transparency helps. But it's really cool because I've built it so I can literally explain to you, hey, you will want to give us money because I am being honest with you about the fact that you will want to give us money because I am being honest with you. Hey, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, not quite as nice as this coffee. Carrot? Quite earthy. I will drink this at some point. Um, so yeah, it's I like that. That's one thing I like about Nukezilla, that it doesn't seem like much is changing on Nukezilla, but there's so many things that just like sit in my head and sit in other staff people's heads that's been like evolving and changing. And our business plan is fucking genius. That we, you give us money, say we start out with money, we then spend that money making the website as awesome as possible. Not making it as popular as possible, we make it as awesome as possible. So like, if it would make sense for us to spend a thousand pounds to fly Brett and his entire family to France and then give them Game Boys, and then that would just be amazing and they do like video blogs every single day and it would just be like, whoa, Brett's in France playing video games and this is all... And then you guys go, oh, that's really fucking cool. I'm gonna join in on this, get my Nukezilla Prime, and then we get money. And there's no, like, we don't need page views, we don't need any of that bullshit, but I'm gonna go before this hits 10 minutes. But before I go, I'm just gonna drink this. Ooh, that's rather good. Definitely not worth 15 pounds, though. But anyway, I'm gonna go. Um, what are you up to today? What are you drinking today? Um, and yeah, go in the forum. Just do things on Nukezilla. Click around. It's fun.